about taking art off the wall and adorning the human body in wildly wonderful ways. The Montana World of Wearable Art Awards is a show that can be difficult to describe, hard to define and impossible to forget. There's nothing else like it that that people can enter. Um, you know, we, we provide this wonderful platform for, for both artists and designers to realise their wildest dreams, you know, to make these incredible works of art that they probably wouldn't have any other reason to make them. WOW is a world-class theatrical extravaganza, a showcase of incredible garments, stunning sets, dance, music, lighting and choreography, and this year marks its 20th anniversary. The show began in the creative capital of Nelson. What began as a promotion for an art gallery has since grown to become the largest single art event on New Zealand's cultural calendar. I never imagined in my wildest dreams it would grow to this gigantic size that it has, you know, from an audience of 200 to, I think we have now about 34,000. It blows my mind to think that this, it's grown at such an incredible rate and um, is enjoyed by so many people. Claire Preble is a veteran of WOW. She's been entering the competition since the age of eight. It's been an incredible, huge part of my life actually over the years. I started um, 14 years ago, so it's been yeah, over half my life now. So it's amazing to see it grow and grow up with it and yeah, to see where, how far it's come in that amount of time. Growing up in Golden Bay, there's a lot of creative people there and my mum was also entering. That's how I started to get involved and I just kind of got hooked in and kept going and just wanted to keep doing it because I loved it so much. This year, the young Kiwi designer is producing a costume for Tourism New Zealand. My design is based on Matariki, which is the Māori New Year, and I've incorporated the constellation as part of the mask because translated Matariki means tiny eyes or eyes of God. The top of the dress represents the night sky and then it fades down into green, which represents new beginnings, growth and the environment. We get well over 300 entries a year from across New Zealand and um, now from all around the world. We're looking for innovation, we're looking for artists and designers that are experimenting with, with materials, that are pushing boundaries. We're looking for a total concept, something that you know, stands strongly on the stage. On average, 60% of the entries make it onto the catwalk. This year's costumes and designs come from as far afield as India, the UK, Germany, North America and Australia. For those who can't make the show, Nelson's own WOW Museum houses an extensive range of winning entries from the last 20 years. The 2008 show season kicks off in Wellington on September the 25th. I think the Montana World of Wearable Art Awards has helped to promote New Zealand as a colourful and innovative country, that we're more than just a whole lot of sheep and, and pretty mountains and beaches, that we are actually a very creative people.